B cells play a key role in our immune system's ability to recognize and fight specific pathogens. In this video, we're going to break down the processes of B cell activation, antibody production, and memory cell formation, all a part of the humoral response. So let's do it! Hey, Leslie Samuel here from Interactive Biology, where we're making biology fun, and I want you to imagine something with me. You're taking a walk in the park, enjoying a beautiful day. The sun is shining, everything seems perfect. All of a sudden, you feel a sharp sting on your arm. You smack your arm, and then you notice that you killed a mosquito. But it's not just any mosquito. You've just been bitten by a mosquito carrying the West Nile virus. Now, you don't know this, so you just go about your business. But even though you don't fully understand what just happened, your immune system does, and it springs into action. And B cells are at the forefront of this battle. Let's look at this more closely. B cells are immune system cells that recognize antigens and trigger a series of immune system actions. When a mature B cell encounters a pathogen, something like the West Nile virus, there are B cell receptors on its surface that recognize and bind to a specific antigen. I'll call these B cell receptors BCRs from now on. The B cell then takes in the antigen BCR complex and encloses it in a vesicle. And inside the vesicle, the antigen gets broken down into smaller pieces called peptides. The B cell then presents these peptides on its surface using molecules called MHC, class two molecules. Now the B cell is acting like an antigen presenting cell or APC. It's presenting the antigen on the surface of the cell. The name makes sense. The next thing that happens is that helper T cells come into play. T cell receptors, I'll call them TCRs, they recognize and bind to the West Nile virus antigen MHC2 complex on the B cell surface. And this interaction along with additional signals from the helper T cell, things like CD40L binding to CD40, provide the necessary co-stimulation for the B cells to become fully activated. Now that we have a fully activated B cell, something interesting is gonna happen. It's gonna go through a process called clonal expansion, meaning it rapidly divides and differentiates into two main types of cells, plasma cells and memory B cells. Plasma cells are like antibody producing factories. They secrete a bunch of antibodies, and these antibodies are like the heroes of the immune system. They are specialized proteins designed to recognize and neutralize specific antigens, such as those on the West Nile virus. These antibodies are released into the bloodstream where they can do one of three things. Number one, they can bind to and neutralize the virus which is a good thing. Or number two, they can trigger the complement system. This is also a good thing because it helps to fight against harmful pathogens. I go into a lot of detail about the complement system in another video, and you can check that out to learn more. Or number three, they can mark it for destruction by other immune cells, such as phagocytes. And these phagocytes, they'll just come into the area and start eating stuff up. It's pretty cool. This entire process is known as the humoral response and it's instrumental for keeping you safe from the West Nile virus and many other pathogens. Now, memory B cells serve a different purpose. They don't produce antibodies immediately. Instead, what they do is they provide long-lasting immunity by remembering that specific West Nile virus antigen that they encountered. What happens is, if the same virus re-enters your body in the future, these memory B cells quickly recognize it, rapidly multiply, and differentiate into plasma cells and more memory B cells. Now, this secondary immune response is even faster, it's more potent, because the memory cells are just there sitting and waiting for that specific antigen. It's like they're special ops agent just waiting in the background for that one invader to come in, and when it does come in, they stop it dead in its tracks. This helps to prevent reinfection by the West Nile virus. During the humoral response, some activated B cells also undergo processes called isotype switching and affinity maturation. You see, there are different types or isotypes of antibodies. There's IgG, IgM, IgD, and IgE. These different isotypes differ in their distribution and also their functions. Isotype switching involves changing the class of antibody produced, for example, from IgM to IgG, 
in order for them to better target the pathogen that the body is trying to get rid of, in this case, the West Nile virus. And I also said that they go through a process of affinity maturation. Now, this is a process that helps to refine the antibody's ability to bind more tightly to the virus's antigens. It's basically increasing how effective it is in neutralizing the virus. And that's it. That's my guide to B cell activation, antibody production, and memory cell formation. As you can see, the humoral response plays a vital role in the function of the immune system. But there's also the cell-mediated response that plays a crucial role in the function of the immune system. And I'll cover that in the next video. My name is Essie Samuel from Interactive Biology, where we're making biology fun. That's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.